Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, Napoleon's Legacy, where we are playing as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. When we last left off, we had just won a splendid little war against Prussia and Russia to uh, keep the free state of Gdansk independent. And uh, at the moment, it is presently an ally in our sphere of influence. And I think, presumably, once we get... Uh, the right once we get national nationalism and imperialism i think we'll be able to incorporate them into the commonwealth but there's something more important going on at the moment a crisis over bohemia has fired with the ottomans on one side favoring its release and austria on the other now it will be interesting to see that see who we as a great power now will support. We will be supporting, of course, whoever France and decides to support. France was leaning toward Austria until Britain joined on their side. So, let's see how this goes and maybe war will come of it. Well, France has uh, chosen to support the Ottomans. That means we are supporting the Ottomans as well. We are siding with our friends. Crisis temperature is increasing. It looks like neither side is going to back down. Probably we won't be able to get that war justification for Galicia that uh, we wanted, but... I think I might, if this comes to war, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get enough war score that I can add some of my Austrian land. So here's hoping. Well, we are at war once, once again. So let's boost our stockpile spending again. And make ourselves ready. I think I will go for West Galicia if I go for anything. Though East Galicia appears to be more coal rich. So let's start let's start the occupations. We'll occup I think we'll be done occupying before they are, so we will then be able to attack Krakow. Alright, the 8th of August. Should be plenty of time to get there. Let's bring that army over. And this one. Every one we got. Okay, yeah, uh, that is one entire Austrian army destroyed. Can we add any war goals? No, not at the moment. We'll need to get back to handle the. We'll need to uh, head back to handle the Russians soon as well. and the British are attempting a landing. Let's head up there. Bring these folks to reinforce. Okay, yeah. Attack as quickly as possible. Okay, Austria's occupations appear to be way more threatening at the moment, since they are headed straight for Krakow. All right, another. We've got an election, com, uh, a mid-war election coming up. Yeah, it looks like we've just got. Our troops are just better qualitatively. Oh 
hopefully 60 to 60 to 30 will be good enough odds for us. All right. Need to drive just drive them away from the outskirts of, of the Warsaw area cuz yeah, it's a problem where they're at. Okay. <clears throat> ah, shit. Keep I forgot to stagger my army so they all arrive at the same time. Wasn't a problem in that battle, but still. Hmm. What exactly is my... Well, I guess it's because uh, political parties are only underground. But yeah, I'm winning the battles. It's going to be... Uh... A while before I feel safe deoccupying things. Hopefully, this is the last big one. Because, um, yeah, we've lost a lot of our ability to supply larger armies. Our military is currently at 13 brigades out of 7, which, you know, less than ideal. Okay, so let's take the larger force back to uh, sweep the armies away. The other two can just occupy. Or deoccupy, rather. Okay, yep. There it is. I think we've basically defeated everyone they've sent at us. So, yeah, we'll just get to uh, unoccupying everything, and yeah, um, hopefully we'll be able to achieve our war goal. And hopefully that force will be enough to defend ourselves from this mobilized army. Excellent. The Russians and Austrians can't win shit against us. Alright, I think we might be able to march into Austria proper, even. I see the Russians are coming back. Not in big numbers, but... Still gonna want to fight them back. Yeah, they ain't escaping. Continuing just to push them back everywhere. But it's like whack-a-mole. Okay, why have we gained that against the United States? Well, now, yeah, France is basically completely occupied Britain. Now they're, now they're sending their troops eastward to help us out. Which is good for us, because I think we need it. There's only so long we can just wh keep whacking up, whacking down uh, every Russian army that pops up.
Yeah, sieging down Austria should help. Okay, yeah. France has uh, returned from their crossing. Lithuania being occupied for so long probably isn't going to be good for my pop militancy either. That's something you also got to consider when you go to war with a neighbor. Yeah, might want to cool it for a while after this is over. Oh, we're the second ranked great power. I think just because we've been building up prestige through uh, winning battles. That's pretty awesome, honestly. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much the... Yeah, we have beaten back all challengers, and now uh, now that France has arrived to uh, fully occupy Austria, I suspect the war should be over fairly soonish. We'll have to see about that, though. We appear to have a suffrage movement. I'll go with weighted wealth. No reason not to. Man, they, you know, they should really just surrender. Russia's barely got an army left. All right, war finally over. Here's what the map looks like. Boy, does does Poland sure look pretty? <laughs> Poland and Lithuania. But yep, couldn't get but couldn't get all of uh, couldn't get all of Galicia. But uh, Bohemia is now uh, a uh, an independent nation in its own right. And uh, yeah, the Ottomans also appear to be on the verge of annexing Greece. So that's uh, yeah, that's awfully interesting. And it, oh, in the meantime, the British are looking to acquire New England. I wonder if they mean all of New England or just the one that's... Hmm. Yeah, I guess this means all of it. So, yeah, the uh, Imperial Canada looks like it's going to be taking... Uh, taking all that maple syrup for itself. Anyway, let's demobilize. Head back. And free up our press, since that is the demanded reform. Social reforms will come later, but yeah, that's the, uh, a great victory for us in Central Europe. Uh, Poland this time, unlike in 1683, is come is uh coming to came to the aid of the turks and now bohemia is free our fellow 
West Slavs. Are Poland's West Slavs? Oh, Poles West Slavs? Well, in, in any case, our uh, our compatriots, our the Czechia is now is now free as the kingdom of Bohemia. And uh, yeah, the uh, former Illyrian provinces are now Illyrian provinces of the Ottoman Empire. We'll see whether uh, the increase in strength of the Ottoman Empire continues to last. But yeah, we are already seeing a different and interesting world begin to shape up. To see how it shapes up further, we're going to have to wait until next video. Until next video, I have been Marikati, you have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.